In this part of 7.5, we're going to write equations of polynomial functions given some information about its roots. If we want to write the equation of a polynomial having roots at 3, negative 2, and 7, we need to do a little backwards thinking. Well, if we want to get the root of 3, I would have to have x minus 3 set equal to 0 and solve for x to get 3. So that's one of my factors. I'm going to do the same with negative 2. Well, to get negative 2, I'd have to have x plus 2 as one of my factors. When I solve that, I get negative 2. And the same with 7. I would have x minus 7. When I solve that for x, after setting it equal to 0, I get x equals positive 7. This is my equation of the polynomial having those three roots. Let's try one more example. In this case, we have a root of negative 5 and another root of 9, but it has a multiplicity of 2. So we need to write the equation. Once again, we use the same kind of steps. Well, we're going to have x plus 5 because if we want to solve this one, x plus 5 equals 0. Solving for x would give us x equals negative 5, and that's one of our roots. So we have to do a little backwards thinking. The next one, if we have a root at 9, we want to have x minus 9 because when we solve that one, for x, so after setting it equal to 0, we get x equals positive 9. Since it has a multiplicity of 2, we can square that, and that would be our function.